Folks, this is one of those videos you need to see, and it's one of those videos you're gonna wish that you didn't need to see. What we're gonna look at today is, is an execution. Nothing more. I don't, I don't know what else to call this. This is, this is one of the uh, so, unfortunately, typical acts of Blue Isis in the USA. Uh, almost the only nation on the planet that gets away with this level of absolute, open, unabashed murder and gets rewarded for that. So... This is one of those videos that, that they're going to hate me for, but <clears throat> don't be depressed, all right? Don't be depressed by the truth, by exposing the truth, by exposing the real terrorists we can educate, using our voice, not just to pander around. Somebody told me today, oh, you know, you need to be more gentle in the way you talk about things. Your message is too confrontational. And, and I say, how does that, how's that work out for us? How is that, how is that panned out for us playing politics and speaking softly all the time? We need to be loving, but that doesn't mean sugarcoating everything. And I don't sugarcoat things for you guys. That's why you're here. Cause uh, I think you guys are smart enough to not want the sugarcoating. Let's go in here. We've got about 200 of you in. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna flip the camera like I do here. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things. This photo right here, is Chris McClure, rest in peace, Chris. Uh, this, Chris was murdered in 2017. I've actually made an article about this, so it cannot be taken down on my, uh, my Steemit, steemit.com slash Gavin Syme, okay? This is a, this is a uh, open cryptocurrency-based blogging platform, and it can't be jerked down by the feds. Okay, now there's an article here, I put links, I put the pertinent information here because when we try to do this elsewhere, uh, oftentimes they do take it down, they punish us for it, even though the information is public and perfectly legal. Um, uh, I see that the Facebook page, apparently uh, the, the, the killer took it down um, earlier today, the Facebook page was up. Um, and so apparently there's some shame going on. This, this is Officer James Buckingham or James Buck, as he's often called. Let me switch over to this screen. Okay, this is Officer James Buck. Uh, and if you look here, you'll see Officer James Buck again in, in plain clothes. He likes to cover his eyes. There is James McClure. Um, this video is the murder of, of James McClure. Let me turn the volume up and do the proverbial things here so you guys can all see this. And here we go. This is a body cam. Get back! Now a little bit of backstory here as we go along. This man was in a parking lot and apparently he had a pipe and was breaking some windows. He was distraught. He, he was not... James, James McClure had some issues, right? Apparently he wasn't being allowed to see his kids. I'm sure the government had something to do with that. Our government is the largest human traffickers on the planet. Uh, and James McClure was upset. But this story isn't about that. This story is about the fact that he was murdered when he didn't do anything worthy of being murdered. This cop rolls up and he gets out of the car and well, Now he rolls up. Immediately, gun in hand, with a man that's that doesn't have a dang weapon. Immediate fire. Get out! Get out! Get He's out on the ground. Stop, dude. Get him, cop. Get out! 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 Now, there's already a cop on the scene. Immediately, he shoots him. Get out! Get out! Now he's on the ground, and the guy is asking him, begging him to stop. Now, bear in mind, this is someone who has a pipe, who has issues. He's having some kind of a mental problem or a breakdown or whatever's going on. This man is not hurting anybody. Worst case scenario is he should have to pay back the property he broke. Stop. Get out! Stop, dude! Get him caught! Stop, dude. Now, you see how scared they are for their life? This guy's just kind of standing there watching while the other cop, he's on his knees on the ground and Buck, Officer Buck, this hero over here, pumps another round into him. Oh, oh, stop me. I'm giving you, man. Stop. Oh, 
Don't kill me, man. This man is dying at this point. And instead of trying to really assist, all the cops can do like little cowards. Check him out. And that's it. Now, I actually called. I actually called, because that's what I do. When I first saw the articles of these this morning, there wasn't really phone numbers. I wasn't sure which police department it was, which Facebook page it was. And I started digging. I started making some phone calls. And as I often do to verify that I had the right place, I actually did call. And I, I called in the police department, the, the Fulton Police Department. And you can hear a little bit here. They just hung up after the first couple times, just audio. And so is. Now they answer the phone. So after he murdered the man, swear. Ringing. Yeah, is is this where Officer James Buck works? Uh, no, he's retired. He's retired. He's retired. Since when? Uh, sometime last year, at least. So after he murdered the man, then then he got to retire. I'm sorry, do what now? After he murdered the man, then he got to retire. No, thank you. He did not. He did not what? Well, no, you may not, but you, do you are. Do you know you called the police department? What's that? Do you know that you have called the police department? Do you know that you work for a terrorist organization and you are Blue ISIS and so is Officer James Buck? Wow, thank you. These people are so arrogant. These criminal thugs and the crony organization they work for are so arrogant, so self-righteous that they think when them and their friends murder people that they have the high ground. Now I called back a few times and, and they just kept hanging up on me and hanging. You have called the police department. Calling back over and over. And I just called back and they kept hanging up. Eventually I heard weird clicking sounds. They were probably trying to track my call, but that didn't work. So here we are. This is Officer James Buck. And this is James McClure, the man that he executed. Now, I'm not going to play the video over and over again, but I will link my Steemit article that has the videos and everything. This was an execution. The man was on his knees saying, don't kill me. He was no threat to these officers. There was absolutely no excuse. Their job 100% of the time is to de-escalate. It was straight up murder. That's what this man is. Now, I want to be clear. This terrorist, we don't do what they do. I don't call for violence. I don't call for us to become them. We can't lower ourselves to be the lowest of the low, like Blue ISIS. We can't become murderers like our police. They need to be arrested and stopped and given a trial for their crimes, given the due process that they have denied to us universally. And every officer is complicit in these crimes. Every person in dispatch, every person involved because they refuse to do anything but make excuses for the crimes of the terrorist cartel they work for. Now, if you go to the page here, like I told you, I did some research, I verified. If you go to this page here, unless they've taken it down already, here's a photo of him from the Fulton Police Department, all right? This is the Fulton Police Department, so you can find their page. Here's a photo, this has their phone number and stuff, it's all public, and uh, here is this man the police department praising him. A few months after he murdered this man, he got a retirement with honors. How about that? How about that? Are we shocked? No, we're not shocked because Blue Isis, Blue Isis are killers, all right? Blue Isis 
are terrorists. They are the number one terrorist organization in the USA. And uh, just as an update for today, let me give you the count as of March 1st. Okay, it hasn't been updated in a couple days. As of March 1st, the police have already killed, executed, murdered 200 people this year. Don't don't buy the propaganda when they say, oh, look at the violence. Look at how corrupt it is in Mexico or, or over here. Look at the terrorists trying to hurt us. These guys, men like, men like Buck, they are the terrorists. They wear uniforms and pretty hats and, and badges and their friends all pat them on the back and say, I back you and I back the blue. If you back the blue, you back a criminal cartel and you are complicit in their crimes. So let that sink in, all right? Those numbers are updated regularly on killedbypolice.net. I'm going to link, let me put this back on the stand. I'm going to link the videos. I'm gonna link just an article to my Steemit article because it has all the videos, it has all the information, all right? And I, you know, we're, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna play the game of the troll, of the cop worshipers. I wanna be clear, I don't hate the cops. I want them to repent. I want them to stop being terrorists. I want them to get justice and due process. I want to remind everyone, because I know this stuff makes us angry, we can never become like them. Do not become the evil that you hate. Every cop in the USA is complicit with the crimes, the extortion, the robbery, the murder, the backing of murders, the protection of their people, and the backing of their murderous brothers. Some of them think they got in it to do good. Some of them are, are just bullies. But you know what? They have. The U.S. police, Blue ISIS, have become psychopaths. This man is a terrorist. And when he is seen on the streets of his city, he should be ashamed. He sh people should, should turn their back on him. They should say, you are a murderer and you need to repent. He should be charged with the crimes that he committed. We have to stop letting these psychopaths think that they're heroes. We have to stop letting the tiny fraction of people who are their crony buddies and pat them on the back. We st have to stop letting that be the voice that they hear. The voice they hear when they're strutting around in their terrorist uniforms. What they see in the store should be people saying, get out of my store with your terrorist uniforms. What they see should be, you are a criminal. Is if you're representing that here, you can leave. What we should see is shame and disgust because that is what a murder and a criminal is. It doesn't matter what the naysayers say. Because what matters, what matters is the truth. And an organization that kills more in one year, every year, than all other terrorist organizations combined is the enemy of freedom. Be peace, love your neighbor, speak the truth. The reason I had to go to Mexico to stay safe, to keep my family safe, the reason I had to become an American refugee is because I'm speaking the truth that they don't want to hear. I'm not dancing around the issues and neither should you be because together our voice gives us strength. Our voice is a sword. If you think your voice doesn't have power, I'm telling you it does. I had to leave my country for using mine because I've never lifted a finger in harm against my fellow man. Stand up, speak out, be peace. That's today's video. Sorry, it was a sad one. We'll try and do something a little lighter maybe tomorrow. Spread the word, guys. Take care.